quick tutorial today on how to resize and scale your videos or photos in Premiere Pro. Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial. Today we're going to understand how to use the scale tool in Premiere Pro. First of all, bear in mind, this video you're gonna see is taken from my Adobe Premiere Pro course, which you can find on my website at mamoair.com. So if you want to learn more about video editing in general and follow a step-by-step -step masterclass, go and check it out. Said so that sometimes in Premiere Pro, we have the need of adjusting the size of our photos or videos inside our sequence and our frame. We might work with different resolutions and aspect ratios, and that's what I'm gonna show you here. In my project, as you can see, I have different clips with different resolutions, some in Full HD, some in 4K, some in 720p, so just HD, smaller than the Full HD. I have already created an edit, a quick edit, with all these different clips inside, and I'm gonna show you how to change the size of your clip. The resolution of my sequence for this project is 1920 by 1080. Let's go to the timeline on clip number three. We're gonna explore the scaling, how to scale up and down a clip. And when you select a clip in the effect controls, you will see some settings. And this time we go to scale. And I want you to go here in this tiny arrow on the left hand side of the scale header, click on it and some more stuff will appear. First of all, we need to realize the clip is again 4K, so much bigger than our full HD frame. And again, that's a good thing because I don't really like the framing of this clip, so I'm going to adjust it. And what we can do, we go to scale here on the value, or you got the lever as well, you can just drag the lever and adjust the clip as you wish. As you can see, that's much better already. So let's go to the value and type 75%. So this value is going to scale down my clip to 75% of the original size of it. What I want you to do is to go in the project panel, take the photo we have, the only photo, drag it into the timeline at the end of the sequence. And now go over it with the player head. Now this photo was taken in a portrait mode, which unfortunately doesn't really cover the frame here. As you can see, we've got some pillar boxes. These black uh, bars are now called pillar boxes. We can rescale a clip on the timeline as well. If we right click on the photo now, you will see these two options, scale to frame size and set to frame size. So they do a similar thing, which is to adjust the height of the clip inside your frame, basically inside your sequence frame. But the scale to frame size option resample your clip in, in terms of quality. So it takes your clip and it brings down the quality of it to match the size of the frame. So you're gonna lose a lot of quality. The set to frame size instead keeps the original quality and size of your clip, but it just scales it down. And you can see the difference quickly. Keep an eye on the effect controls, especially on the scale settings. I'm gonna click on scale to frame size. Nothing has changed here in the effect controls but the size of our clip has changed. I go back, click, right click again on the clip, and this time I choose set to frame size. The scale of our clip is now to 54%, but the quality of the image is still the same. So we still have a high quality image just downscaled. And that's the option I prefer, so I don't lose any quality on the video. I'm gonna delete the photo from the timeline. You can do the same, just click on it and press cancel, delete. And I'm going, to, I'm going to clip number three again. We're gonna find out something else. Now we right click on clip number three and let's go to set to frame size. But because this 4K file doesn't have the same proportion of the full HD sequence we created, we still have some letter boxes. When you have black bars on top at the bottom, that's called letterbox. When you have them on the side, it's called pillar boxes. I don't like this framing, so I go back here, click on the clip, and I scale my clip to 50%. And now we should have all the frame covered. 
I like it as it is and an important thing I want to uh, share with you is if you have a bad quality video that doesn't have the resolution of your sequence and your frame usually it's quite tricky to upscale it so make sure the quality of the video can really keep up with the with the size of your frame let's scale one more clip down we go to clip number four on the timeline I'm gonna check the resolution once more is 4k more or less so much bigger than my frame and I'm gonna go on scale and this time I want to show you this option the uniform scale I'm gonna bring this arrow down and I'm going to untick the uniform scale the uniform scale basically is the relation between the width scale to the height scale as as we can read here if the two are linked as by default whenever we drag one of the lever the clip will adjust proportionally but if we untick those and I'm going to reset the default options there if we untick the uniform scale then we can play with the height scale and stretch the clip vertically or with the um, width scale and we stretch the clip horizontally again that could be helpful to adjust some maybe lens distortions and things like that but it's it's yeah I rarely use this setting anyway okay and that's how we change the scale of the clips or photos but what if we want to animate the scale it's very simple if you know how to animate any other effect is exactly the same but I'm gonna show you let's take this clip for example where I have my brother here taking photos what you want to do is to go first of all at the beginning of your clip if that's the time code where you want to start your animation from of course you can start the animation even in the middle of your clip already but I'm going at the beginning make sure you select it on the timeline and we go to the effect controls panel under scale of course you want to go to the stopwatch to create a new keyframe which is appearing here on the timeline in the effect controls panel my starting size is 50 so that's the scale of my clip then I'm going to the end of the clip make sure you still have the same clip selected so I'm gonna go back one frame there it is and now I'm going to increase the size of the scale to 65 just to give you a better idea and the new keyframe is being created at the end of our clip what you have to do is to play the sequence and this is gonna create a zoom in in my photo just to enhance and getting closer to my subject to the photographer in this case we go back from the start of the clip and there it is you got your nice digital zoom in. once again if you want to zoom in and scale up a clip make sure this clip has a resolution bigger than your sequence otherwise you're gonna lose the quality and that's not a good thing that's it for this tutorial once again I hope it was useful and as always hit the subscribe button it's free I keep saying that and you can learn something new from my channel so don't forget do it now Memories fall up the road